want to start with the, Hit, Hit Boy and Boy Wonder, I think, were the first ones. I know. Yeah. So because we're a podcast, I say we start in reverse. Okay. With the most recent and then work our way back, right? I'm with it. I'm with it. Uh, Rory and myself called Jonte. Jonte. Winning it? Yes. Yes. Before it happened or after? Before. Before. Okay. Before. Did you have a did you have a pick? No, I didn't have a pick. I knew it was gonna be a classic battle though. Me too. I, this I and I been... wasn't super confident in my pick yeah. either. I was I like, was, I, I think I'm gonna edge classic. Me but... neither. I thought this could have gone either way. <laughs> but I yeah. I'm I gotta be honest, I forgot that he wrote that one Aaliyah record. I knew he wrote Come Over. But I didn't know he wrote the other one that he played, and I was like, he played, right. he played all the ones. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, oh, right. he I didn't know he's missing he... you. He played not come over. He played another one. It was like, uh, right. I don't want to be without you. Yeah, yeah. all right, you and have. We all played my, that. I was you like, have all right. my favorite Aaliyah records. <laughs> yeah, I was like, John right. to Austin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but um, that was that was a classic night, man. It really was. That was amazing. That, that was, was like I, I sat there. I didn't think I was gonna watch that whole thing because you just don't think you're gonna look at your phone like and just watch. Two dudes play records like yeah. for over an hour, but and and jam in your kitchen. Yeah, and I'm I'm looking at that shit. I'm like, these are two very very talented songwriters. Yeah. Like they've literally written some of the greatest R and B records of our time. Yeah, that's and, kind of been my thought with all this. Like, yeah, yo, y'all are some talented fucking people, man. But the thing yeah. that I love the most about this battle was that you can because Jante is is older than Neo. So obviously he's inspired. He wrote some records that inspired Neo to write. Right. But the one thing I loved was and Neo that Neo inspired John to as well. Oh no, absolutely. But yeah. the one thing I love is that they both have obviously a huge amount of respect for each other. For sure. And that was to me that's what made this a classic because it was kind of like oh shit like okay damn I forgot you did that one. But the respect level that they both had it was just it was just dope to see. Uh, Two two black men have uh, that much talent and also have that much respect for each other. Well, listen, I agree with you there. The respect level that they had definitely added to it for me. It probably added even more coming off of Sean Garrett's performance the night yeah. before. We'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to it. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to it. But yeah, this is this is how we envision these battles going. Yeah, this, yeah, is, like, this right. is how this we was how it. we thought. This was the this perfect. This is how we. <laughs> this is the model for all of them <laughs> yeah. to go. Yeah, yeah, this is how we expected them to because go. Because we're not asking, we're not asking niggas with chump catalogs to do it. Right. No. So right. if we're asking you to do it, you already that nigga. Right. Yeah. right. Like, there's nothing to be insecure about. There's nothing to be extra competitive about. Just know that you going up against niggas. That's also that nigga. Yeah. Right. Well, in defense of the earlier battles, they gave them some guidelines on this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm we glad they did yeah, that. Yeah. We had rules I'm on this one. That. We got to thank Sean Garrett and the Dream. Well, really, Sean Garrett. Sean we really Garrett. got to thank Sean Garrett. The first for the rule rules. was definitely a, a Dude, Sean Garrett. Rule. Show up, <laughs> show up <laughs> sober. sober. Was definitely a result. Show of Sean. up sober. Yeah, yes. That was definitely a result. Now of, this uh, rule said twenty five songs a piece, but they only went to twenty. Hmm. Um. They both could have easily went to thirty. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I know. I wanted because it was so close in the moment. I wanted five extra rounds. Me too. Like they got to keep. I thought going. they should add an overtime round, even yeah. though I decided John to as the the winner. Mm -hmm. I still wanted overtime. Yeah. yeah. Where where it switched for me when go Neo, back when go Neo, back to the go, rules. When Neo did uh the take a bow Rihanna record, I was like, oh, this is good. this might go another way. Yeah. And when I didn't know John to wrote can't help by way can't <clears throat> help but wait by Trey songs. Yeah. When he bust that one out and I knew what he had in the clip still, I was like, all right, this might. Never mind, Johns. I apologize. <laughs> Songs must already be released. Yeah, because Sean Garrett, man, and I'm not mad at him, but I didn't want to hear anything off your new album that comes out next week in the beat battle. Nor, nor did I. I but, wasn't looking for it. But I did love that her record sounded really good that he started with. Mm -hmm. a Sean I didn't Garrett, want that in a battle, but a that Sean, sounded like a good record. I don't think that I think this I think writing a song is like a is like a athlete with his jump shot. Like I don't think that ever leaves you. No. So Sean Garrett wouldn't surprise me if he's just had mad fire in the oh, I'm just speaking to the, the song. Extendo. Right. Mm -hmm. But not now. I agree. And, and listen, 90 I, I, seconds max for each song. Go ahead, Roy. Although that as well. The Don release records were the highlight of the uh, first Hit Boy, hit boy yeah, yeah, Battle. Yeah. Which we'll get to. Yeah, we'll get to that. Well, we but, didn't, but they we didn't, didn't start. implement the rule after them. Right. They did it dope. No, right. they, we want to hear new Nas. We want to hear new Drake. We want to hear new Dip. We want to hear the demo of, like, that's awesome. Yeah. But, uh... And I'm not mad at, at Sean wanting to promote, but don't we're not start... We're to talk about Sean right now, but fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, is there anything else on, on the Neo and Jonta? Yeah, Johnson? it's mad shit on yeah, Neo yeah, and Jonta. Yeah, right. Let's go. All right. Back to me. Uh, for Jonta, and I may sound superficial and shallow right now, for his catalog, he's supposed to ha- be dressed exactly the way he was dressed. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. I'm not joking. But that's, but that's just, I'm not joking. But that's him, though, like on a regular day. I know. Yeah. But the fact that he did him to the battle, like we on quarantine, mm-hmm. nobody would have been shocked if he showed up in a t-shirt and sweats. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the yeah. music is so dope that he could have did that and we would have... Yeah. Who cares? Nigga, yeah. he made stingy. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> but that... that Plush ass velvet blazer <laughs> with a two tone collar and yeah, the and un- untied bow tie fit, chilling. Right. With, well, wait, with suspenders, the bow t- untied bow tie with suspenders. Yeah. He was taking off the jacket and then he was playing like that shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he was tricking cognac out of him. Oh, wait, yeah, 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 yeah. oh, come on, man! <laughs> Pure class, man. Yeah, That's class, on, man. Hey, he complimented Neo after after everything he did, like. Yeah. No, Johnson, I lo- man, you the fucking man, man. You're I loved man. watching uh, watching them sing the other dude's record, like how hype Neo would get when a Johnson record would come on. Yeah, but as, you as opposed to, to the night you before, have to, you have to only because these records. Each other. Hey, scream man, pull up, uh, pull up uh, the side by side of the songs that were played, please. That's, that's what it was. He, right? he had it up there. All right, but, we'll um, get back to it, guys. He um, <laughs> well, he was on it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this was this, <laughs> you made him change it. Sorry. This was this was like. This is like this might be the greatest R and B playlist right here. Like yeah, this one's serious. This might be. I'm not gonna say that because Brian Michael Cox still exists. Uh, But to start with, ideal get get gone, fam. Yeah. I was there for the start of this. (laughs) That is not a to start record. See, Neil started with a start record. That girl, you made Mm -hmm. that song. That song is super hard. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not ideal. Get gone. Yeah, no, it's, no, no, no. It's, no. it's, it's just that the era we in a different realm. The, the of, era, the era is so different. Like those R and B, those and, lyrics don't even exist no more. It's fucked up because you know I could argue that Marcus Houston had a much better career than Ideal, but it's get gone. Yeah, <laughs> it's, just it's the, the ideal, ideal. I had John, <laughs> I had, I had John to up one nothing. Yeah, round two, Aaliyah, I miss you, Rihanna, unfaithful. Unfaithful Ooh. did something to me, so I gave that to nah, Neo. That record, is, that record is insane. I gave that to Neo. It's tied up. This was close most of the way for oh, me. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Uh, Mariah's like that. Carrie knock you down. Neo gets a 2-1 lead to Joe. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jamie, she got her own. Bryson Tiller, don't. Uh, don't. 2-2. Uh, uh, here's, tied up. Stop there. Well, don't. Here's, here's where I was. Yeah. I wanted to come here and ask you guys this question. Does he get disqualified for that round? I think wow. he kind of does. Who? He, he kind of does. Who? Johnson. Johnson yeah. Why? Why? Because they because they sampled they a Mariah sampled. song that he wrote. He didn't right. really write "Don't." Right. They just sampled a Mariah record. Correct. That he wrote. Uh, so he's technically a writer that, on the song, but he didn't write he is, the song. But he didn't write the song. Uh, okay, a technicality. I get Fam, it. Fam, this song exists because of me. No, nah, you're right though. You're right. That's does a this, fair point. Does this song exist because of me? <laughs> it's a fair point. Yeah. But I understand it. But for a, for a writer's, how I took this as this was a writer's battle. Well, and, and right. so if you didn't write it, well, but Joe's, Joe's say, point it has validity. Well, no, I'm not mad at your take at all. Well, that's not fair because I didn't knock Neo for playing. She got her own twice. They both it, was a hit, but it's one song. <laughs> yeah. It's one song. You gave me the remix, and you gave me the regular version, and they both hard. But it's one song. I didn't know. He played it that. twice? But he did that in the he same round. He played the remix though. with Jamie Foxx. No, he didn't. When did he play it again? He pl- Why is it not up there? Because he definitely played the regular one. Yeah, I think you're confused. He played the Jamie Foxx version. The remix joint that's on Year of a Gentleman. I thought I heard the other version too. At no. some point in that battle. No, I think you're confusing that with Miss Independent. Okay, maybe so. I'm counting. Well, Miss, all right, so Miss Independent kind of came... They're connected because Miss Independent came to She Got Her Own with Jamie Foxx. She Got Her Own like they're is co- the they're, they're connected her own song, the but they're Miss different Independent records. Remix. Yeah, they, it is. Mm. But it's a completely different song. But it's right. the same song. <laughs> yes and no. It's not. They don't even sound remotely the same. They just used lyrics Guess what? similar to it. Drake's Fall for Your Type 
is the same song as Jamie Foxx. No, 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 the fuck it ain't. No, the fuck it ain't. Don't you, don't you ever fucking do that again. I agree. Yo, I used to respect your musical opinion. Don't you fucking ever did. Jamie Foxx stunk that record up. I'm not gonna say that, but he didn't do what Drake did. He did not do what Drake did. So it is two different records. Anyway, Moot Point. I'm I I have it two two after don't. I didn't know Neo wrote uh, "Own It" by Mac Wild. I didn't know, but yeah. once but it I heard sense. it, I said, "Oh, this is a Neo it record." It sounds like a Neo record. <laughs> Neo <laughs> writes this. Yeah, you're not beating Stingy. Three two. Uh, Neo, stay with me. One of my favorite Neo records. You're not beating yo. Yo, no, yeah, no. you're definitely not. Four <laughs> two. All right, we was just having a good conversation. Listen, this conversation is about R and B. We were having an R&B conversation off mic really mm. quickly. R- Rory brought up one of the greatest albums of all time, The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill. Uh, and that is one of the greatest albums of all time, right? I think yes. we can agree. We, we can yeah. agree there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Rory brought up the muse to that album. Rory, get your point off because it's a great point. Yeah. You, you have to give credit to the topic of the person. Like, Wyclef is an ill dude just for being the subject of all of those records. Like, I don't think he Was deserves it? he deserves writing credit. <laughs> on it and I think I the toxic know. guy that you forces the chick to write these records deserves some pub it wasn't her husband oh okay that's news to me you thought X Factor was about the Marley brother that played in the XFL I, that's what I thought I, I can listen I, I, I'm here to receive I'm here to receive information I'm here to receive information we're gonna shit off uh, but yeah no I, I think we don't give that toxic guy we just killed a toxic guy we don't give him credit for being for able to birth the this shit ever. This like, record. Whoever like, that uh, whoever Adele was dating when that shit came out that went 30, yeah. 30 times like we, platinum, he deserves an award. We need too. to salute True. him. He deserves some pub. Now last last week we discussed uh we had a battle of the toxic kings. We had party versus future. Mm-hmm. Uh I picked party even though I know the consensus would be future. Right. I'm aware of that. I'm here Yeah, today. they they killed me when I said future is nothing like yeah. But I still stand by that, Me even too. after getting I killed. Me I stand too. by it. I'm here to challenge Rory today. I'm here to pod. Rory takes Wyclef. I take KC. I take KC from Joe to see. Man, if you don't can, know, can I also take Mac Ten? No. <laughs> <laughs> from Westside Connection. <laughs> no, no, you can't. Wait, what was Mac Ten doing? TLC. Oh, right. <laughs> oh man, you said T Boss through a frenzy. <laughs> I'm taking KC. Oh, uh, and who's who's my guy? Yo, TLC went through it. Who's my guy that that oh, that, here you go. that oh, left eye burn? No, Andre, no, Dallas oh, Austin. Oh, oh. Andre Put Chili through a fucking. <laughs> Andre Rising let, she, <laughs> let, let Left Eye have it Rest in peace yeah, Left Eye let and him have she it she let him have it Yeah I'll take I mean, Karuchi did she, did she really do- You'll take who? Mm. Karuchi That's a good one Yeah cause we still have to Salute Kehlani yeah, For was, being the was, muse of that, that was Yeah good. that's true That was good <laughs> No, that was a quarantine <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here nigga <laughs> Yeah I'll take yeah, I, I think I win that With KC We get we get eight years of Mary singing about KC. Yeah, and yeah. I can't I can't give Karuchi all the credit on that because I think Chris wanted to get in his toxic singing bag about Rihanna, but obviously couldn't because he did that horrible, horrible, horrible shit. Mm. So I think a lot of that resentment also got brought over to the Karuchi records. Mm. I think it was just yeah. a, a tornado of of toxicity. That's why Chris is a toxic thing. <laughs> He bringing in that baggage from the last five, yeah. five relationships yeah. right to your doorstep, mm-hmm. yeah. you, unbeknownst to you. Yeah, he'll say your name and ask you, "Yo, do you want me to say it?" And say, it. yeah, and then say it. She, yeah. she didn't. Answer. She didn't answer. She didn't answer. answer him. No. She didn't answer. Him. No. All right, listen. I got it four two after after don't uh, stingy. Stingy versus uh, Mac Wild. Oh, we did that already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're at uh, after Jennifer Hudson. After Jennifer, oh, no, no, at no, Jennifer no, no. Hudson. At I'm Jennifer sorry, Hudson. Mariah. Don't forget about us versus Jennifer Hudson. Spotlight. I'm sorry, that's Mariah for me. Yeah, yeah. That Spotlight record was big, but don't forget about us. I, I like that record better. Tony Braxton, just be a man about it. Versus Neo, do you? Sorry, Tony. Nah. It's a dub. Mm. Score one for Neo. Uh. I wasn't sure about this next round. Busted baby between uh, Shorty Like Mine, Bow Wow. I gave it to Bow Wow. Yeah, Bow Wow. I gave it to Bow Wow. It was a bigger it's a record. Better, better to better record. Busted know, baby man. is a cl- like. Uh, Busted baby yeah. is. Uh, I'll play that before I play Shorty Like Mine. 
Yeah, but that's you, a fact. Yeah, Shorty like mine's like Shorty like mine's like a ringtone. No, no, that's like a ringtone record. Play it was baby too, but Shorty like mine is probably a better record. And not not for nothing, if you throw on that Janis sample, all of us can probably write a record that people will sing to. For the Buster Baby, yeah, yeah, but I, that, I, that was come back to me, Janet Jackson. Yeah, if you, still, if, you like, that, if, if, if Parks loops Janet Jackson, come back to me. We all can write one of those right now. But I don't think we. Yeah, but we never heard it. Before, <laughs> Is that a challenge for that? No, 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 no. y'all won't even finish the eight that I write for y'all. So no. <laughs> Trey songs. I need a girl versus Neo. Go on, girl. I gave it to Neo, mm-hmm. even though the chat gave it to Trey. Uh, Tyree Sweet Lady versus Fab You Make Me Better I don't know what Neo was jumping up and down about when he threw Make Me Better on Sweet, nah, lady, sweet, lady, sweet lady Sweet Lady wins that <laughs> Sweet Lady It's two sweet. different First of all it's two different I, totally different type no, of records I, I would say that too I would shoot Neo some bail and I love Neo uh, I would shoot Neo some bail but I might he try jumped though. up and down and told John to shut up and then played Make Me Better <laughs> I would have flipped those I would have done nah. Make Me Better against Need a Girl Trey songs and do go on, girl, to Sweet Lady at least. I don't think you're beating Sweet Lady, period. You're not beating Sweet so, Lady. Yeah. You're not beating Sweet yeah, Lady. Yeah, Sweet Lady is one of the... So that's fine. Go ahead, go ahead and give yourself an L there. That's fine. Uh, Battle of Sierra those. Like You versus Jeezy and Neo Leave You Alone. I like the Jeezy record better. I still gave it to Battle and Sierra. <laughs> <laughs> no, that goes to Jonta, but I way more nah, prefer Leave like You the, Alone. I like the Jeezy record much better. That, that Leave Neo You Alone record, record is crazy. super fire. But yeah. the, listen... Chris Brown with you at 13 versus Neo. So sick, I gave it to Neo. Shake It Off Have versus to. Take a Bow, I gave it to Neo. Uh, Can't Help But Wait versus Sexy Love, I gave it to Neo. Uh, I Don't Wanna versus uh, flaw, Flaws and All. Where'd y'all rank that? I went with Aaliyah on that. Yeah, uh, me, me too. too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> I did too. Flaws, flaws is, and All is, a, is an amazing record, but I Don't Want It is I Don't Want It. totally the, Wait, then he back to back them with Aaliyah come over. I don't think that record will lose to more than fifty records ever. Ever, yeah, yeah. Miss Independence, Miss Independence great record, was a Miss was a great response, an amazing but... record. But <laughs> but Jonta was cheating with classics. <laughs> yeah. He wrote them. Chris Brown popping. Neo Mara. Hey, Mara is my get my freak on record when the <laughs> chicks come over. Guess what? Poppin' wins it. I don't know why Neo didn't play when uh when you mad. Yeah, that was another one. That's a mistake. Mara I just should don't, not I don't be think there that... in place of when you mad. Is he mad as popular though? Plus it, uh, to us it is. He but... leaned on his own catalog a little too heavy, probably. Neo. If he was well, gonna do he's that. on a lot of he's mad he hooks. Well, he he's on mad hooks that he has, though. He gave himself most of his greatest records, and when you mad is one of them. Yeah. 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 I would have tried to get say it off by Neo, but I don't know if that if everyone loves that record the way I do. And then the last two rounds, Mary Be Without You versus Mario Let Me. By this point, it didn't matter for me. But cool. But that Mario record, that Mario record is huge. Where, where's Neo on the Dirty Mac writing bag list? Oh, he's top heavy. Because he didn't, he didn't even get <laughs> uh, If I Was a Boy off. Yeah, he's top. And that's Dirty Mac and from another gender. Like, <laughs> If you're fluid with your Dirty Mac, let me love you're you. a legend. Let me love you is arguably the biggest Dirty Mac record of all time. By far. Yeah. Yeah. You should let me love you. <laughs> we'll beat every fucking tooth out your face. You tell my girl, you should let me love you. Neo has a lot of the record. Like, I like Mario Let Me Love You a lot better than Mary Be Without You. I do think Mary Be Without You is a much better song. Mm-hmm. How do I do. Like I, I remember, get it's I remember, Mary, but let me no, love no, no, you no, no. is a fucking smash. Yeah, but I'm not gonna do that because Mary wasn't quite Mary when this song came out. I remember mm. when this song came out. Like yeah. this was this was like this did it for her <laughs> again. Shit, like it and brought that's, her that's, back to they. It's ironic because let me love another you one that they was gonna play for the next twenty years. Yeah, which is like, ironic because that let me love you put Neo kind of on the map. As a writer, he did his solo career right after that record. And then the last point I gave to Neo because Beyonce Irreplaceable was just too crazy of a record. Yeah. But you going up against Mariah, we belong together, which that could be a tie. Yes. Yeah, I'm going Irreplaceable, but Me too. I'm not mad at either answer. So I had John to win in this one. And I, I preferred if he would have just played the remix with Kiss and Styles to really end it correctly. But <laughs> but how did y'all, just, just how did y'all score the last round, though? I gave to Neo. Okay. I gave it to Neil. I gave the last two to Neil. Okay. Yeah, I ain't mad at that. 
I ain't mad at that. What a great battle. What a classy battle. Uh, when Dream and Sean Garrett were performing, I called Neo's camp. Mm. Behind the scenes. Oh, no. I'm, I've, I've, <laughs> I've EP two of these. I was going to say, everyone is, and Swizz deserves a lot of credit. As but, he but, should. But we got to give my guy Joe some credit for, for putting a lot of this shit together. Ah, I never do it for the credit. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. But I've EP two of these, and they've been two pretty good ones. Yeah. Um, but I had John to win in this one. Shout out to shout out to Neo. Uh, yeah, shout out to Neo. Jonta. Shout out to yeah. both camps. Thank, by by thank far you the guys. best best battle. I gotta yeah, say, one of my favorite things about these battles, uh, and I'll try to figure out how I can explain this. But when the world is functioning correctly, like everybody loves music. Um. We, uh, we include the casual people in our music conversations because they matter somehow there. We include, I mean, they we purchase in, music. They get in, you to the number one. Yeah. Casual, casual well, fan is the most well, important well, fan. That's, well, that's my problem. When the world exists, all you need is, is $9.99 to now have something to say about music. Mm. And real music people like really, really hate that. But we understand that that's the construct of the industry. Mm. Right? But now that we're quarantined, I fucking love not only that I'm getting some of the battles that I've asked for my entire life, i.e. Dream, Dream Sean Garrett, Neo, Jonta, B. Cox, anybody he, anybody he would have battled would have been something I wanted to see. Yeah. Uh, but the music people that are in the chats, like, the industry is in there. And when I say that, I don't mean, hey, uh, Let's run over there because the music industry is in there. What I'm saying is the music industry that just loves music is in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The labels are closed. <laughs> uh -huh. the, the execs that's just freestyling or having to come up with a rollout for you, but they not really into this shit. All of that shit is closed. If you in these battles as a music head, you there strictly because you love music and it's passion. Mm -hmm. And for these two dudes to be able to pull 80,000 strong on a Sunday night or when television is still running a primetime shit. Hell yeah. When fucking Ozark just came out. <laughs> yeah. Mad shit is happening on your DSPs. And they pulled 80,000 out with most people having no idea who John to Austin was. Not or, only that, at the same time, John Elton was doing his live... El Elton John. Elton John. Who's, 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 Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. Wow. It's been a long... John El I'm dyslexic, guys. John Elton, it's fine. Bear with me. John Elliott. John Elliott. I'm wearing those sweatpants <laughs> right now. Um, was doing his concert with what? Alicia Keys. Backstreet Boys. Uh, yeah, I yeah, watched that like, too. It yeah. was, a lot of shit was going on at that same time. There. On Instagram? No, it was on Fox, I believe. Yeah. And I, I label all my artists' uh, last how, name first. How, how many people was in there? Uh, it wasn't a stream. It was on TV. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Got it, got it, got it. Was, got it was just everyone doing like a FaceTime concert. I song. can't lie. Backstreet Boys smoked that shit. They did. <laughs> With five different cameras <laughs> or whatever. They smoked that shit. <laughs> That shit was hard. Like, yo, what the things we would be able to come up with as a culture if we own the licensing or the rights to our own music. Right. Hmm. 